A tri-state woman who just ordered a new puppy has been just been scammed out of hundreds of dollars. Consumer reporter John Matteries has a warning for every single dog lover. But first, another scam involving Elton John tickets, John. Well, Kristen, tickets to Elton John's last Cincinnati show go on sale tomorrow morning, and they are expected to be the hottest ticket in years. But watch out. The Better Business Bureau tonight is issuing a scam alert, saying it's already seeing phony Elton John tickets popping up nationwide. The BBB reminds you that the only official site selling tickets is Ticketmaster. Be very careful Googling for tickets because you could end up on a copycat website. Speaking of websites, eBay and PayPal go together like peanut butter and jelly. But tonight, that longtime marriage may be headed for divorce. eBay has just announced it will be phasing out its partnership with PayPal over the next two years in favor of its own payment website. eBay says it will be just as safe. Well, buyers like PayPal because of its money back guarantee and the fact that you don't have to give a credit card when you buy something on eBay. I've warned about puppy scams before where a scammer on Craigslist claims to be a dog breeder, but he's just copied somebody else's ad. Now, though, the scam appears to be getting slicker with full fledged websites taking money and not delivering puppies, as one Warren County woman just learned. That's your cookie. Joe Standridge is a dog lover who wanted a schnauzer pup to replace her schnauzer who passed away. So she searched for breeders and I ran across this website and it said sale, which is my middle name. <laughs> Bestminischnauzers.com was offering purebred pups for 50% off. Uh, $400 and 150 for shipping. Joe fell in love with this puppy, so she tried to pay with PayPal, though it was rejected. I called him and I said, you know, it won't go through. I keep getting this error message. And he said, well, why don't you tomorrow Western Union to me? Reluctantly, she wired $400 cash. Bad idea because next day she got some bad news. My cargo carrier uh, wants insurance, wants $1,200 insurance. Furious, she asked for a refund, but it was too late. Called him, couldn't get through. That was the end of the communications. Nothing. Nothing. The puppy scam tends to be so effective because it targets people who've recently lost a dog of their own and are trying to replace that missing part of their lives. We found many complaints online about the website. The consumer blog PetScams.com warns families are handing over small fortunes to BestMiniSchnauzers.com, which uses stolen pet pictures to sell fictitious animals online. No one knows where the site's located, but Joe's PayPal statement gave her some idea. And down at the bottom was an international chart. International, that's not good. I called the phone number on the website. A man who answered told me he does not know any Joe Stanridge, has never dealt with her, and did not take any money from her. Finally, a quick clarification. Last night we reported on a freebie at Chick-fil-A. Well, we learned afterwards that unfortunately that offer is not available in the Cincinnati market. As always, don't waste your money. Kristen? All right.